Hi friends, there were few requests on how to create the profiles for DevOps administrator and architect. Today I'm going to cover DevOps profile. Eventually I'll cover administrator and architect profiles as well. Before you start creating your profile, first go through in naukri.com or monster.com. Just check similar profiles or similar JDs what they are looking for. For example, if you are looking for the DevOps engineer, maybe you can open the DevOps expert requirement, the JD. You can understand what are the key skills they are looking for, what kind of experience levels they are looking for. Based on that, you will get some idea like what are the key common skills asked for the DevOps profile. So these JDs are going to really help you what kind of skills you can mention, what kind of summary you can mention in your CV and what kind of experience levels you will be requiring for the various job positions. So first do the R&D on this and then go back to your profile. For any profile, profile summary and skill summary is key. Any HR or a manager or a director who is shortlisting your profile will first look into this both sections. They also search with the keywords. For example, if they are looking for Azure DevOps, they straightforward search in your profile for those keywords. Based on that, they will get into more deeper in your profile. Very first step is like, so if the keywords are matching, then they'll go to the next steps. That is the reason, always try to make sure that you have enough keywords such as like uh, Azure DevOps, AWS DevOps or Jenkins or AML, Terraform, these kind of keywords which are key for the DevOps experienced profiles. So make sure that those type of terminology is being mentioned. The next one is for few requirements they may need mainly Azure DevOps, few other general DevOps like Jenkins. Kubernetes container type of services or few other things they may be looking for the AWS DevOps. So just categorize like what you are looking for whether you are looking for the Azure DevOps or AWS DevOps or DevOps SRE. So the type of title you are mainly targeting or looking for that relevant keywords again you can search in the now career monster dice.com you find out those expectations and fill it those areas here in your CV. In my personal experience, most of the CVs I won't shortlist when I see the irrelevant experience. Example, the person is applying for the DevOps engineer, whereas they show complete experience on the support. It, it is kind of L3 support, like they address when the production servers are down, they will come into the picture. So those type of profiles definitely mismatch. That's the reason you have to be very careful. If you are looking for the DevOps engineer, you must be expert in the CI/CD pipelines, which is very key. And few third party tools are also important during the CI/CD processes. And you should also know branching policies. You should also know the deployment strategies as a DevOps. So just try to push all those content into your skill summary or in the skill set at least under the responsibility of your project. Here is an example. Here it is clearly mentioned what this person is working on Azure Cloud and DevOps, Azure DevOps, CACD, Jenkins, ML, PowerShell, all the type of keywords are all mentioned here. So definitely this will help to get the profile shortlisted for the next level rounds. The next level rounds again, you know, it is completely based on your expertise, like what you have shown on your profile need to be demonstrated to the interviewer based on that you can get shortlisted. So you must need to clearly mention what kind of projects your work you are working and what kind of uh, responsibilities you are dealing in your day to day activities. The same thing you need to demonstrate while you are appearing to the interview. However, I'm going to place this CVs in my Google Drive where I was sharing my PPTs as well. Please have a look on that. Thanks for watching my videos.